Okay, hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. I'm just going to get some iced coffee because I need some. Anyway, it's Sunday. I've just been hanging out, semi enjoying the weekend. I didn't really do much, so there's nothing really much to report on. I haven't really been vlogging too much. I missed my Friday upload. I look so fucking round. I don't Okay guys, I got my iced coffee. I got an iced Americana with almond milk. It was that or a cold brew. Cold brew tends to taste better, but Americanos tend to be cheaper, so I get those, cause uh, we ball on a budget. I'm just gonna either go get food or go home. I don't know, cause I feel like I should film and edit and then go get food, but I also feel like I'm in Stadium Village right now and that's where the food is. So it's like, should I get the food and then bring it home? film and then eat because then it'll be only one trip or I can film go get the food come back and eat I have to debate I'm at the turn okay hey y'all just got my lunch for the day from roadie delicious food if there's a roadie by where you live I highly suggest checking it out they have Mediterranean food so I got falafel with tahini sauce on it with couscous and hummus had to ask for extra hummus of course and roasted veggies cucumber tomato sauce and cilantro and then it came with like a little pita thing so i'm just going back home now doing my thing anyway i'm excited to film this video i'm ranking my top 10 favorite fruits so i'm gonna film that i feel good this coffee's got me amped this um this idea was my friend Derek's um, a while ago he loves any video i do that's like six tips or six ways or seven different things to know about this he loves those videos so this was his idea of ranking uh, my top 10 favorite fruit um so i'm excited to do it we've been talking about it for a little while now i kind of just honestly forgot about it until today when i was thinking what should i film because i filmed something else and it was too intricate like i just rambled in it so nothing made sense so i couldn't really post it on friday so i'm just gonna go ahead and to try to get this one uploaded by the end of the day, Sunday, and then this vlog will go up on Tuesday. The vlogs are really easy, honestly, because um, because I edit and film right on my iPhone. I don't have to um, do anything on my computer or on my camera. So the iPhone vlogs are super duper easy. That's why I'm vlogging today. Oh my God. Can I walk on this? This road's been under construction, like the sidewalk, for like probably like three weeks now. And I like walk this way all the time to work and shit. I'm doing it. I'm walking on the new cement. Okay, no, I can't. I'm gonna walk in the street. What if I ruined it? I'd feel so bad. They spent all that time to make that pretty cement and it's not boxed off or anything, but you never know. Don't wanna leave a sneaker shoe print in there. So I'm just walking next to it on the physical road. Um, but yeah, excited to film this video. I was watching some inspirational videos this morning and it really just got me um, jacked and amped. And, you know, I'm really trying to make something out of my life because, you know, it's not life we don't like, it's the circumstances. Life is a, a fucking blessing, you know? You just have to utilize it. so sunny out today I'm really excited to get home I'm like two blocks away so I'm just keep walking sipping my coffee dehydrate my body um, but yeah really trying to get on the grind trying to make a dime can't lie um, you know I just really want to make a lot of money so I can donate a lot of money that is like how I see it and also don't get me wrong I'd love to like have everything I need whenever I need it and not have to worry about bills or food or clothes or rent or anything but main reason I'm trying to make a lot of money so I can give back to, you know, kids and families in need. I see so many kids with like not the best looking parents. And it makes me so sad. So hopefully we can fix the issues our society is having and everybody can thrive because everybody deserves a good life. But I'm gonna go now. Okay, hey guys, what's up? I just finished filming 
my main channel video for today because it's gonna be sunday's video instead of friday's video tee -hee. um anyway i'm gonna eat my lunch which is on my chair from roadie my mediterranean bowl i grabbed a fulton um it's a lonely blonde grapefruit um just because i've had them in my fridge for like two weeks now i should really drink them uh don't drink unless you're 21 kids i'm 23 so it's perfectly legal for me but you know i do not condone the underage of alcohol drinking the underage of alcohol drinking smart herbs now i'm just gonna sit down eat my lunch edit my video and hopefully ooh, my americano hopefully have this baby uploaded and ready for tonight uh, I'll talk to you guys in my top 10 favorite fruits ranked. And I love fruit. I honestly really only really need fruit. So main video is currently being uploaded so be uploaded today on sunday i'm really happy i was able to post this weekend um so yeah i finished editing i'm uploading i'm finishing my fulton i ate my lunch my lunch was so delicious yeah now i'm just gonna hang out i did my thumbnail i'm gonna wait till it uploads so i can do the title and the bio and the tags and then after that looks like it's round three i might go to the gym today at like 5 30 5 45 i'll leave but I haven't been feeling the gym that much. It's hard because um, it's hard because my car is broken right now. So I can't drive to the gym I normally drive to, which is in the south suburbs. And it's a nice gym. So now I go to this one in the city, which is just not as nice. I don't like it as much. I don't know the people there. The gym itself is just not clean. I feel like everything is sticky and it's hot in there and like the weights are just really old and I know it's not like about the equipment, it's about like how you make the experience but I still just don't love it. I actually quit the gym and I'm starting a different one in September after like you pay first and last when you first sign up so you get another month after you end your membership. So I'm just hoping to feel more motivated um, coming up because I feel like I'm losing my muscle mass. I feel like I was at my peak, you can't see it that well because the lighting, I was at my peak like strength and tonage and then I hit this whirlpool that I can't drive to my gym, I don't train anymore, I said screw that, it's honestly a waste of money. Um, I really liked the last trainer I had, I went through three trainers because none of them were that great, but the last one I had was good, but we only got two sessions in so that's kind of poopy, but my friend's friends with him so I can always just like get workouts on the side, but hopefully I'll go to the gym, I don't know, I really just don't like it, I have to take the train there, it's in St. Paul, which is like not, it's not a bad city, but it's not the best city, and I always like, when I go every time so far I've been catcalled, or people just like to talk to me which is like fine i get that but i also hate when people just like only want to talk to me because they're attracted to me you know like maybe if they actually had something to say or wanted my opinion but when they're just like wow you look so good and youthful and i'm just like thanks i'm trying to go to the gym please leave me alone it just makes it hard so i almost don't want to go but i think i should go but i don't want to it's sunday we'll just see how i feel after this vlog is uploaded so or now see how i feel after the main channel video is uploaded so that was my little rant about why i'm compelled about going to the gym um so yeah i hope you guys are doing great <laughs> love you hey guys welcome back to the vlog so the funniest thing just happened to me ever. I'm sitting on the bench waiting for a train and this man walks by and he goes, another Negro. And I'm like, what? Excuse me. I'm not even like saying or doing a thing. And he like walks by and then tries to get this like other person to converse or something. And then he walks across the street and starts digging in a garbage can. Um, so yeah, lots of racist homeless people out today. I feel very bad for him. I guess I can only wish him the luck and that he finds some tin in the garbage can so he can bring it in and, you know, maybe get some money because he clearly needs it because he's harassing everyone. Well, at least me, okay? Hey guys, so it's a little bit after that incident just happened to me and I just want to spill you guys with 
the information. When stuff like that happens, don't retaliate, don't get mad, just, you know, just like love the person. Obviously they're going through something, obviously they're brainwashed, you know what I'm saying? Nobody was born hating other people, nobody was born a racist. Racism was taught, corruption was taught, so you, you can't get mad. Not just in situations like that, ever. If something hurts you or something makes you distraught, don't enact on it like don't get mad because if you allow other people's words to affect you you're allowing other people to control you um don't do that keep your power keep your love be a ball of light understand that you know better things are coming light is coming it's like a big old fly um yeah just try to be the bigger person this is insects have been loving me recently like all types of insects have been like literally trying to fornicate with me um please just go away i'm trying to vlog can you leave me alone personal space please um yeah just don't let don't give people power to control you be about love and understand people are probably in really bad scenarios if they're lashing out on you so yeah stay beautiful stay happy and you know we're gonna reach um, a place of enlightenment and it's gonna be amazing. <laughs> Bye.